Hey guys, this is going to be the first in a series of video tutorials where I go through the process of setting up our software stack. Today, we're going to go over setting up ROS. To do that, we're going to be using VirtualBox and Ubuntu ISO. If you don't already have an environment set up, you're going to want to install VirtualBox and then press new. And then you're going to name it anything. You want to go to Linux and then scroll down until you see Ubuntu 64-bit. If you don't see 64-bit, that means you haven't enabled virtualization on your CPU yet. That's usually located in the BIOS. We're going to want to give it like 8 gigs of RAM. I think the minimum you should give it is probably like 4 gigabytes, just to ensure that the stack runs smoothly. And then you just follow through here. All these default settings are fine. Maybe give it like 25 gigabytes of space instead. And then you can click create. I already have one, so I'm not gonna create this here. And then after you create it, you just gotta start it up by pressing start and it'll go through the process of setting up the VM. After you set that up, um, we're gonna get started with starting it up ROS. So I'm just gonna restore my virtual machine state here. Okay, we're just gonna do this straight off the ROS tutorials. Just gonna open up the terminal. It says, step one, configure a bunch of repositories to allow restricted universe and multiverse. Okay. So we're gonna want to click on sources. Imagine not right one. This one. Restricted universe multiverse. Okay, so it's already enabled. Ah, it's so small. Okay. Yeah, that's already done. Next up is running this command to set up our sources.list. Just gonna paste it in here. Should be able to paste it here. Oh, can I not paste? Okay, that's awkward. Let's pull up the tutorials on here. Run that, enter your password, okay, done. Then we're going to set up our keys with this command. Done. Okay. We don't need to do that. Uh, sudo app update. Okay, so I think we're just going to want a regular desktop install. We don't need the full. Right, 2D simulators, 2D perception. Um, actually, just to be safe, we're going to install full. Yeah, it's going to take some time here. See what's next. Oh, 
Oh, we gotta add to the batch for C. Okay. Let's wait for this to finish. Just gonna sit back and wait. Okay. Well, let me done. Now we can. Oh, we gotta download it here. Now we're gonna put this into the bash RC, which just runs the the sources the setup for ROS for us every time we load up the terminal. Okay. Next, oh, I don't need this. Python like it. Yep, you do need this here. Ah, I keep forgetting I need to use the one in here. Okay. Need this. To, to create and manage your own ROS workspaces. Actually, I guess we do need all this too. Install. So let's test our ROS installation. Uh, ROS core. Oh, okay. So this means our ROS configuration is working. So melodic 1.14 is perfect. Okay. So this this means our ROS is successfully set up. Um, stay tuned. I'm gonna be following up on this tutorial with. Installing our repo and building it in Rust.